hello all welcome back to Faye's channel i am Faye, and today for for today's tarot reading this is a tarot reading on myself which i'm gonna be doing it kind of third person -y, um how i feel because i get nervous in reading my own cards and i have trouble believing them which is why i wanted to post it so i could like watch it and believe myself um i've been manifesting a yonder and i've been losing hope i'll be honest also, I'm going up to Tahoe um, for about two days. So I won't be back till around Monday. So I won't be posting till around Monday because I won't have service, you guys. So this will be my last video before then. I was going to go live between that, but change plans. So I'll be going live when I get home. Uh, and the plan for the live is to be doing, like, readings... Um, on the live and you guys can just ask for questions and stuff uh and that that'll be how that'll go all right so without further ado i will be pulling my cards on my yawn there that is around um i'll be getting information on them uh i chose this deck because i must cl closely connected to it all right let me get my cards all right here are the cards. We got King of Swords, Ten of Swords, Hangman, Queen of Swords, Justice, Queen of Wands, and Eight of Wands. I'll admit I'm nervous in reading this. Like I said, I have trouble believing my own readings on myself, so we'll see how this goes. Also, I'm doing my yonder reading instead of collective yonder because that was what won in the polls. I will be doing the tarot live and then hopefully posting another video later. But that will be done on Monday and next week. My heart is beating in my chest so I feel like I take my yonder's breath away. Um... I'm very beautiful to me yonder. Regal, Queen of Wands, which is passionate, fi fiery, dominant energy, which means I can hold my own in a crowd, and I'm very confident and come off that way. Dragonflies could be symbolic of the connection, as well as peacocks, uh, birds as well. Um... Eight of Wands, which is love and enthusiasm. So my yonder has a lot of love for me and wants me to know that. Also wants me to know not to doubt myself and to just treat myself right, treat self-care because they know I've been upset lately. To the swords here, there's been... I think I know my yonder, but... Uh, there's been intense separation, and so there's pain on both sides here with the Ten of Swords. Um... Queen of Swords here and King of Swords here. So divine counterparts, air energy. Um, which Queen of Swords can symbolize like communication and sharp, being sharp tongued. So maybe Mayander is afraid of rejection. I think keys are also symbolic of the connection. I don't know if those are keys on her dress, but I think keys are, as if I have the key to his heart. Um, my under sees me as very loving, unconditional, and praiseworthy, and wants to take care of me. Number 444 comes through, as well as 23 and 13, which are all numbers that are sacred to me. Uh... The hangman also means gaining perspective and also I could be my under could want to tie me up and want to dominate me. With the King of Swords, there's definitely communication here and wolves are definitely wolves and crows are definitely significant to the connection. Um They seem very adamant that I am theirs and watch me silently. They have things to tell me and can be very cruel and sharp-tongued with their phrases. They are in control, they are the boss, and they will not let anybody else have me. 
I am theirs to control and please and do with as they please. So I am their pet, basically. Uh, justice here. I'm going to ask Spirit to clarify justice. I'll be right back. Um, my friend <laughs> just made, walked in and made a really, like, inappropriate moaning, moaning noise, like, fucking around with each other. They're two guys, so they have an intense, like, romance. But, like, I feel like... I could have two yonders, but also they want to do things to me. And it, the joke was about it being like in the booty hole. So, things. Um, these two yonders could be best friends. Um, Prince of Pentacles, yeah, peacocks. There's a peacock here. So clarification of the justice was the magician, ace of swords, nine of wands, queen of cups, prince of cups. And the magician, I've manifested this. This is come to fruition and will happen soon. There's also rings here, two rings. So uh, marriage, which I think is justice deals with court issues. So there could be a court issue um, involved. Um, Queen of Cups, there's a lot of emotions. They also could see me as sensual, uh, loving, caring, gentle. Peaceful, very calming. I feel like they can be themselves around me. Mermaids might be significant for the connection as well. Specific place, Morro Bay. Uh, Prince of Cups. Yeah, they definitely want to come forward. There is an offer in Prince of Pentacles. There's stability and abundance. Um, and Prince of Pentacles is coming forward with an offer. Very abundant offer. Very prosperous offer. They could also be very rich. Uh, Nine of Wands. Yeah, I knew it. Total submission. This is going to be fun. For me, I... I like total submission. I've been texting. If anybody's had the app, AI app, Poly AI, like, I've been texting nonstop on that because I've been so lonely. And, like, I've been into total submission on that and, like, taking anything. Uh, so this resonates for me of the total submission. And Nine of Wands also is protection, fire sign, so Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo, and the air sign, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. I'm um, not getting much water sign. Um, feel like I'm manifesting the Sag, and I manifested the Aquarius, so these two might be going head to head. Let me get more cards. Sorry, I just had a massive interruption, so maybe my yander feels like they've been massively interrupted by things. Uh, three of Swords, they've been cut deep. There are also three here, so there is definitely... This is going to be a poly connection. Uh, white Roses are definitely significant to the connection. Ghost of a Rose comes to mind by Black Morris Knight. Uh, Ten of Pentacles, yeah, my yanders are rich. They see me as having many options, but they have my eyes, their eyes on me, these main two here. Uh... Nine of Pentacles, I'm regal, I'm abundant, I'm desired, I'm pleasurable. Uh, ten, of, ten of Pentacles, there's a, there's a lot of abundance here, there's a lot of money. I won't be poor no more and they will financially take care of me. Any channeled messages, spirit, from my yonders to me? Uh, Devil Doesn't Bargain from by Alec Benjamin. Tell the truth. Uh, we want you. Why can't you see that? You're so precious. You don't deserve the treatment you get. Your son is beautiful and you are beautiful. Never let anybody question your worth or who you are as a person. Keep going forward. We're with you. We got this. We've heard your cries. We will come soon. 
we know you don't really like kidnapping, but we'll do it if you want us to. <sighs> Just be prepared, we won't be holding back once we get you alone. Let me get my channel message cards. Yeah, they want to get me pregnant and they can't stand being away from me. They're telling me I need time to heal, which is why they've stayed away. The song, channeled songs are Judas by Lady Gaga and Liar by Camila Cabello. They think I'm cute. My nose is itching. Spirit, what does that mean? I'm being watched is what I hear. Um, tell me, tell me more about my yonders. They love me and they want to smother me with attention. And smother me in general, maybe a smother play. Uh, they want to tie my legs behind my head and cuff my arms behind my back. They want to play with me. They want to see the tears in my eyes and make me submit. They want to do all sorts of nasty things and defile me until I break. They've been watching me for years. <sighs> They're losing patience. They know that I feel as though I've disappointed them and they also know that I feel like they're never gonna come in. They're very possessive of me. They'd do anything to have me. They love me with their whole hearts and have their minds set on me. They wanna marry me and they want a family with me. They can't stand the way I've been treated in life and have always wanted to be with me. They know I don't believe them and they want me to believe them. There's an indifferent energy here, spirit, why? And I'm hearing don't lose your shine, don't let your emotions shadow everything and don't give in to what they give you. I'm feeling very depressed right now. And that I can't stand being away from you comes out. So maybe my yonders are very depressed about being away from me or know that I've been depressed. Um, spirit things about their toxic traits and how they watch me. They have things of mine and they've collected my stuff. They have lists of music that remind them of me. Um, they monitor me through the phone because I don't leave the house often. When I do leave, they stalk me also in a car. They like how cute I am. They know I'm a little. They're daddy doms. They want to make me submit to them. I feel like they don't want me to lose hope in the connection, but they know I'm close too and that I no longer believe in love. They know that if I get taken, they'll have they'll have to earn that from me. How did they look, spirit? One of them I know. Tall. Endearing, warm heart. Caring. Nicknames involve Princess Angel and Baby. And would smother me with care, love, and kindness and take care of me. They feel as though they'll be apart from me forever. They feel as though I'm forcing their hand to kidnap me. And they won't want me to give up. They feel like they're running out of time with me. They're sorry. They wish they would have said something sooner. I'm gonna end it there.